welcome back you guys to AG University Podcast. Today we have a very special guest coming on and let me just, this is your professor speaking, buckle up, take notes because if you struggle with meditation, you're like, I want to do it. I want to sit still, but I can't turn my brain off. I struggle, but you're curious. After this episode, you're going to be obsessed. You're going to be addicted. You're going to be me. I do not go a day without doing some form of meditation and it's just who I am now. It's so natural. It's so easeful and it changes my state every single time. And I think, I think a lot of people think it's, it's hard to meditate or you've got to be good at it. And it's just, it's just a journey, you know, it's an evolving process, but the person who introduced me to a new form of meditation is Mimi Bouchard. And she's coming on the podcast today and she is the CEO and founder of the superhuman meditation app. And let me just run it back for you guys. I actually had been following Mimi. I found her early or a little pre pandemic and she got me through quarantine. I am not kidding. She did not know I existed. She actually had a different platform at the time. It was kind of like a Patreon esque platform and she was doing her meditations there before she even created the app. And something happened inside of my brain. Like she carries this activator energy. Like it just clicked, it clicked. And the meditation felt productive to me. I understood what I was doing. I, I, I don't know how to explain it, but something in my brain clicked and everyone that uses her app now says the exact same thing. And I'm going to explain it to you guys a little bit more. And obviously in the whole episode, but essentially she has created this unique combination, honestly, her own genre of meditations. It's specifically designed for a busy on the go gal or guy. There's also motherhood. Like literally, I want you to think anything that I'm doing, there's cleaning meditations, cooking meditations, things that we're all doing, but she turns them into guided meditations and teaches you how to really make any activity that you're doing throughout the day intentional and a place where you can visualize and transform your state, change your energy, elevate your vibration. Like it's, it's amazing. And I credit her for, I mean, she is a huge inspiration for me when I started my Patreon, teaching you guys my own meditation code, because I saw her doing it and just living so authentically. And her app is something that I use every single day. Like I sought her out, you guys, like she had a meditation retreat. I signed up for it, went back in September. We hit it off. We became friends. Like we've stayed in touch. I did an Akashic Records reading for her. We talk about it here. She is such a light worker. Like she is just a light, a light, a light. And all of her meditations, she always talks about how she sprinkles a little frequency code in them. So there's a little bit of magic too, but she truly is an activator and you are going to be obsessed. I do not go a day without doing my get ready meditation. It's like a jazzy get ready in the morning meditation. And I manifest and do mirror magic. And it's just, it's almost like a music app too. And she records them and then she has her own music team, put music to it. It's fascinating. So anyways, I'm just, I'm so excited. I, I can't believe that I feel like I manifested this connection and getting her on my podcast and it's just a dream. And I'm, I'm, I'm just so excited for you guys to know her because she is someone who really has changed my life. And that's how I want to keep the, uh, energy of this podcast. I want you guys to change your life, change your state to do the thing. I believe in you. Okay. Take notes, listen back, share with a friend who needs a little inspiration, motivation, some meditation, whatever they need. I love you. So without further ado, on behalf of AG University, this is your professor. We welcome Mimi Bouchard. On behalf of AG University, it is an honor and a privilege today that we have Mimi Bouchard. Thank you for taking time to come sit with us. AG, I'm so excited for this. What a cozy environment we're in. The I... rain is trickling on the windows and it's just so nice and warm in here. I know, it feels good. I also, I cleared the space, I set some intention. Yes. I feel like I feel like we can feel it, it feels cozy. I can feel it. The energy in here is just so beautiful. We're like, for being in the middle of West Hollywood, smack in the middle, <laughs> we kind of made our own little cozy cocoon. We did. To add to the coziness, Mimi and I are both going to just do like a couple of little grounding breaths. And I would invite you guys, you know, if you're driving, keep your eyes open. If you're somewhere <laughs> safe, close your eyes. But we're just going to go ahead. I'm going to put both of my feet on the yes, ground. Yes, let's do it. Do a little grounding. You know, we've, been, we've been in the throes of LA for the both whole Both of our week. little feet can't even touch the ground. We are the <laughs> smallest little... <laughs> 
<laughs> my pinky toes are like little yeah. tiny. <laughs> no, Mimi is so cute. I'm like, Mimi, I want you to like sit in my lap. You're just Okay, like, I'm going to slouch so I can get my feet yes. on the ground. Okay, here. we're slouching. We're everyone, everyone, let's put our feet on the ground, like wiggle the toes, make a little contact. Alrighty, going to go ahead and invite you guys. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. Hold at the top. Just go ahead and sigh it all out. Big breath in through the nose. Hold the top. Listen to the rain. Go ahead and sigh it out. Any stale energy, let it go. Do a little shimmy if it feels good. All right, one more in through the nose. Hold at the top. Big sigh can be loud. Let it out. <sighs> Yay. Just go ahead and set a nice cozy Oof. container. That was a state shifter. Right? Sometimes I just need to get a little grounded after we've been running around. We both had really busy days podcasting. We did. I'm really proud of us. We did good. <laughs> and it worked out so perfectly because if you guys don't know this about Mimi, she lives in the Bahamas and I'm in Florida now. And we just, you know, actually I'll, I will give a formal way of how we met, but it did work out beautifully that we were here at the same time. We were texting and I was like, oh my gosh, wait, I'm going to be in LA. You have to come on in person. I need you in person. So I'm excited. It, it was aligned. It, it was, was so aligned. Yes. I love it. So for my listeners here have been on this journey, kind of this self evolution that I have been going through for the last few years, I love to bring on people that have really played an instrumental part. And Mimi is someone who has really played a huge part of this process. And I'm, I'm so honored to call you a friend now that I know you in this capacity, mm -hmm. but there was, there was times like in the throes of the pandemic where I was alone. I like almost could cry. Just like looking at him, like I was alone and like I was doing her meditations and it was, it was truly the light of my day. So mm -hmm. I want you guys to know that she has been instrumental in my journey. And I know that since you've been instrumental in my journey, that you're going to be instrumental in someone else's journey. So I feel very strongly about her product, everything she does. So we're going to get into it, but I want to set the stage. With, with thank you. That's so nice. What an amazing intro. You're Honestly, so thank you so much. You're so welcome. You deserve all the success in the world. And I am just here to sing your praises to my people. And I know they're going to be obsessed with you. So if you guys <laughs> haven't like found her work, found her yet. We're going to go there. Um, I Well, first of all, you and your words explain to Superhuman. I think she is the gateway drug to true meditation. <laughs> like, I feel like she was just what got me obsessed. So tell us about Superhuman and what you do in your own words. Okay. Superhuman is a very different, very modern approach to meditation. I started on my personal development journey almost a decade ago. And honestly, I couldn't find any meditation that I resonated with. I'm a spiritual person, but I didn't like the types of traditional meditation that were very much about, you know, crossing your legs in lotus pose and singing um and like clearing your mind and going to a cave to meditate. Like I, I just was not resonant with that. Mm -hmm. And when I got into this personal growth journey and I started really wanting to manifest and create my ultimate life, I kept learning about how visualization is so deeply essential when it comes to creating the life of your dreams. And for me, I started in this personal development world really wanting success and really wanting to create that ultimate life. That was my motivator. So I tried all the apps. I tried the YouTube meditations and nothing clicked. I got so bored and because I didn't enjoy doing it, I wouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. It was the one personal growth habit that I could not stick to. I was journaling in the morning. I was doing my walks. I was eating healthy. I was, you know, doing everything I thought I was supposed to, but I still wasn't seeing results. And I knew the missing piece was aligning my energy and vibration through visualization. And meditation is the traditional way that people do that, right? Because you need to, you know, listen to something that guides you a lot of the time. So I intuitively, this was like six years ago, seven years ago, I intuitively started recording these voice memos on the voice memo app on my phone. Mm -hmm. And these were just, you know, 20 minute clips of me talking to myself and telling myself what my future is going to look like. 
at the time I was broke living in London, didn't have a great really, like I wasn't in any relationship. I didn't feel good in my body. I was, you know, over a bit overweight and I didn't have any money and I was very unclear with what I wanted with my life and I just felt very stuck. And uh, so I started listening to these visualizations, these audio files that I would create for myself. And it got me into the energy that I wanted to be in. But the caveat here is that I wouldn't listen to them with my eyes closed. I wouldn't listen to them in a traditional meditation sense. I didn't even call them meditation. I listened to them while I was getting ready in the morning, while I was walking to the gym, while I was on the tube, you know, going somewhere, while I was cooking dinner. And slowly but surely, actually, no, quickly and surely, <laughs> my life started to evolve in a really big way. I started getting crazy opportunities, my energy started aligning, and my life literally radically shifted. In looking back, you know, it was really quick. It was in a matter of years, I became a millionaire. In a matter of years, I found clarity with what I wanted in my life. I found my now fiance, Ben. I, you know, <laughs> the other day I was listening to one of these old voice memos. Maybe I'll share them one day. They're very personal, but um, maybe I will. In one of these voice memos, I was, it was on October 12th, 2017 the day before I met Ben for the first time. And I was talking about the man that I want to be with and I described him. He's big and tall, like word for word, verbatim here. He's big and tall and he loves me so much. He, we have movie moments all the time because I love a movie moment. I'm oh. such a helpless romantic <laughs> or hopeless romantic. And uh, I described him and the next day I meet him and now we're engaged five and a half years later. Oh my gosh. And uh, yeah, so all to say superhuman has been a result of that personal need for something that isn't traditional meditation that is incredibly effective, that's very science backed as well. You know, superhuman meditations, we're actually moving away from the word meditation right now, trying to figure out a way to, you know, describe this audio content in a way that people can understand that it's so different. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have seated ones. Yes, we have, um, you know, some more relaxing content as well, but the basis of superhuman, that what makes it different is we have over 15 categories of meditation from walking meditations to getting ready in the morning meditations to cooking and cleaning and legs up wall meditations, literally a meditation for every moment of your life, workout meditations, running meditations, like the most inspiring, energizing, motivational audio content that you can listen to. It's like a mix of you know, motivation and, and visualization. And it's this really beautiful method and we're actually getting it patented right now. It's so unique. So um, all to say, yeah, superhuman, you know, it's, it's science backed. It really works at rewiring your brain because it's like the Pavlov dog theory. You know, you're conditioning your mind in everyday moments, linking new thoughts and actions to uh, to be certain behaviors. If you are doing a walking meditation every morning when you are walking your dog for 10 minutes in the morning or walking to the bus stop to go to work, you're going to be, like new neural pathways are going to be created, new circuits in your brain. And over time, you're not even gonna need that walking meditation anymore to be feeling energized, abundant, motivated, successful at that exact time in the morning when you are walking. Mm. So. It's science back, and that's only one theory behind it. And uh, we have many scientists and uh, you know psychologists on our website, actually in videos showing how superhuman actually works. And it's crazy because it's so easy to do. You just listen to it. You don't even need to focus on it. You just want to condition your mind with these, you know, embedded affirmations and visualizations throughout your day. And and it just changes your whole life. And we've had tens of thousands of people try this app. We launched it a year and a half ago, and we've grown enormously honestly, just through word of mouth. We haven't even done paid marketing yet because we just haven't even gotten there. It's just been growing like wildfire. Mm -hmm. And that just shows me that this product is something that the world needs. People are talking about it. It's an incredible investment to make for your life. And it's it's really the, uh, you know, anti-meditation app because we're not requiring you. That. It really <laughs> is because we're not requiring you to change a habit. We're not, you know, we have seated meditations that are so powerful, but we're not forcing you. We have, we have so many other ones. We're not forcing you to sit down for 20 minutes in the morning and close your eyes and think about nothing. That is so hard to do. And yeah, sure. It's beneficial, but n most populations not going to stick to it. Cause it's so freaking hard, right? You know, working out for two hours a day is really hard. Most people aren't going to do it. So it's better just to go on a 20 minute walk and get your steps 
steps and mm-hmm. it's better to do something than nothing, right? Right. So that's essentially, you know, why I think it's been such a success because it's so attainable and it's so transformative. We get stories constantly about people that are like, I've changed my entire life. Here's a specific scenario. When I started using Superhuman, I was here. Now, only a month later, I'm here. Like the the stories and testimonials we get are just like insane. So all to say, it's a product that people need. It came from a need that I had and then now it's like, just become this movement and it's changing so many lives. And yeah, I just, I couldn't be more proud to be the owner of this company. I am so proud of you. I'm proud to know you. I'm like, I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> I will I always, you. Thank you. I will always <laughs> cheer you on because I am, and I don't think I've touched on this specifically as much on the podcast because I wanted, I knew you were coming on and I wanted to like kind of go a little deeper with you, but I started listening to Mimi's podcast when it was like the Mimi B podcast. It was like throwback. Oh, throwback. It was like yeah. her original podcast. Oh name. gosh. <laughs> and yeah, like, and you were like the Mimi method. Like it was like, I've, yeah. I've been following Mimi's brand earlier on. And I remember it was when I was like living alone and I was getting away from I kind of, we were like in the exact same situation. That's like, I think that's why we found each other. You were like struggling with like, do I want to track? Do I like, I want to do intuitive eating? Like, Oh yeah. We were both like in that kind of more body focused mind. Yes. And and wanting to heal the relationship with our body. Mm -hmm. And you were creating meditations that were like, that's what I'm saying. You guys, she has a meditation or like, it's actually not an anti-meditation. I love that. (laughs) But you were creating a product for exactly what I needed in those moments. And, and you you really had um, audio recordings for like when you were feeling triggered around food or anxious around food or specifically even binge eating. Cause that was one I would restrict still so much. And that was like, you were the first person to like openly talk about that. And oh, yeah. then also provide, okay, if I'm feeling you know anxious around food, I'm gonna sit down with Mimi and you would talk me through the exact situation, exactly how I'm feeling. Like it was, the most productive meditating that I've ever done because there's one thing to sit down and meditate, just close your eyes and just kind of think like, I'm gonna let my thoughts like float by or whatever. But for me, I needed someone to literally talk me through like, Mm -hmm. okay, this thought's coming up. Like that's, that's just an old thought that's kind of been stuck on this loop, right? Like if I'm going to overeat or I'm stressed out or whatever. And then you, you like would bring it up and present it in this very gentle, loving way. It was mental rehearsal. Yes. So that is another science backed tool that I use in some of the meditations where it's like changing a habit, like binge eating. We both have struggled with it and we've both been open about it. And that's, it's just an addiction to a thought pattern and, and habit, right? Yeah. So in these, in, I know the one you're talking about in this anti binge eating meditation, I get you to use mental rehearsal to create new neural pathways in your brain. So you're basically visualizing yourself getting triggered to want to binge and then you're choosing in your mind you're you're visualizing yourself choosing a different option and choosing to go you know journal or have a glass of water or call someone that that knows your situation that you want to vent to and you're choosing a different uh scenario in your mind and then you're feeling that relief and that pride for yourself if you do that enough times when it comes to an addictive pattern Mm -hmm. that is such a great way to practice in your mind to then in real life you're not going to be perfect you might still binge once in a while but you're you're going to have that moment of wait there's another option because a lot of our the time when when people want to binge they are just in completely like blinders on like they can't think of anything else until they have that release so this is teaching your brain to think differently and to react differently so i'm so happy that helped you yes and and you brought so much that if even if the thing that you are struggling with whoever's listening is not binge eating whatever habit or something that you catch yourself and this negative thought loop that you feel like takes over Superhuman has changed. I, I don't feel like I have any negative habit or anything that has a hold on me at this point in my life. Like how crazy is That's that? That's really insane. That is insane. Like at any situation, I feel like I have so many tools and I know exactly what to do and I can mental rehearse. I can choose again. And the more the, it's just a practice. It really is just a thought loop. It, like you said, our brain can always make new neural pathways at any moment. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing. It only took me 10, 15 minutes a day to do that. You can do it walking. You can do it anywhere. So that was probably the biggest shift for me in sitting down with myself and going like, hey, we're going to just like sit with this. I wouldn't do it when I was like particularly like a heightened state. I would just kind of practice when I was going through like, okay, I've been like way too restrictive. I need to like find some balance. 
And you even did meditations talking through finding balance. Like it was just like everything that I needed. And I'm like, who is this girl? Like, I love it. And that was, that was the shift into my intuitive eating journey. And like, now I trust myself. And now I like the thought of feeling like super full like that, like it, I, I, I don't like, I'm just like, I can't even imagine like it, that doesn't, that's not it even my reality. Feel good. It's it not my reality. Feel good. No, no, it doesn't feel good. It's like, no. you know what? You don't actually want that. There's just, there's something else inside of us that is needing attention. That's really, we were just talking about this off air. Yep. How when you, it, if you're hungry for something else, that's not food, that's something, a soul desire, or, you know, you're just, maybe you, you can explain it. You were just explaining it so well, but, but you try to stuff yourself with food to, to push down that desire when you don't know that it's actually not food related. Right. It's sometimes we'll have a need inside of the body. And when it goes unmet, it's, it's maybe being expressed as hunger, but sometimes it's like when you check in with yourself and just go, okay, yeah. Am I hungry right now? Am I thirsty? Am I bored? Am I lonely? Am I tired? You know, sometimes there are other things and it's just really creative creating a practice of sitting with self and being like, hey, I'm just going to talk to myself for a few minutes. Yeah, and like doing it with love, like being in love with your body and being like, hey, I love you. Like, yes. what do you need right now? Yes. You know? And yes. that I think we've both really gotten so good at throughout our journeys with our body and food and eating stuff. And uh, I'm so proud of us. I'm so proud of us too. Well, and just to continue on the journey, you guys, that was how I was introduced to Mimi, fell in love with her work. Then she offered a retreat. Yes. She did it. My per- first big re- retreat. She did her first big in-person retreat, which was my first time meditating in a large, larger group setting. The so, girls were amazing. It was such good energy. Such good energy. Oh my gosh. I love that group. I, we need to do another one. I've just been so busy, but I, I really want to do another for that exact same group. Yes, because it's it really is. I never knew how much more powerful it was too, to even meditate mm. in like a group setting. But that was how we connected. Just I always love to give people a little a little background yeah. story. That was how we connected. And um, I also did a Akashic Records reading for Mimi. Yes, the best freaking thing ever. Yes. Honestly, <laughs> so good. And you've predicted so many things that have started coming true. I know. I'm so excited. She has a special work trip coming up this week. And I'm like, yep, checks out. I had that right on. <laughs> AG literally predicted, okay, there are going to be three prominent billionaire men that are going to come into your life soon. I'm like, okay, there have already been two the past like two months <laughs> wanting to invest in superhuman. <laughs> yes. And I'm like the third one's on his way, sister. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it, it was it was an honor and a privilege. My energy has been attracting billionaires lately. I swear to God. <laughs> we love that. Well, that's because, that's because it's just people like me. Like everyone sees the value. Stupid thing to say. No, (laughs) own it. We're like own it, baby. No, just you know, I'm in a phase where I want to potentially get investment for superhuman soon, and uh, you know, I I want these powerful people that that are going to come in and help with the growth. And oh my gosh, I'm so glad that you predicted that because it's like really happening really fast. Yes, I know. Every time she calls me with an update, I'm like. "Ah!" Yeah, love it. (laughs) It is still so exciting, Um, and I can't wait for and the anchor thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She, AG predicted that I had this one anchor. And remember, I figured out what it was. Yes. Letting go. Yes. That's yeah. a whole deep conversation we don't have to get into. But that was another thing that well, and everything that, you've said has just come true. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm always like, I'm kind of like an unofficial um, uh, <laughs> superhuman, like board of advisors, anything. anything. <laughs> yeah. No, but you are. Anything like super- Maddie and I. So Maddie is on my team. And we we were discussing this at the retreat. We're like, AG should kind of be like on our board. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm like, I am. Like, I'm, I'm, I was a consumer. And now I'm like so invested. I'm like, whatever you guys need, I will steer you in the correct direction. But we do. It's just a good um, way to tie in like with the Akashic Records. It will, a reading can show like what's holding us back and also some forward momentum steps. So it's like a really nice balance of like, hey, these are some beautiful things that are like coming in the future and like so yummy and let's celebrate. But also here's a couple areas where we can maybe clip a little anchor that's holding us back. And Mimi went and did some personal growth work and she was like, AG, I saw the anchor. <laughs> oh yeah, I did. I've been on a whole journey in the past. I'm always on the journey, but. <laughs> Mimi and I are very similar in the sense that we're both always in the. We're always in the thick of it, but it's amazing. And it is. We, we're, I'm glad that we can see how far we've come as well like we're just this work feels so good to do it's never ending it's you don't get to this finish line and think oh okay I never need to meditate again I never need to you know journal again or self-check again because I've reached this point of enlightenment like no it doesn't happen that way 
you have to, you're, and even once you reach certain goals and coming from me, you know, I've hit so many goals in my life doing this work, but the moment it happens, you appreciate it. You're grateful for it, but you get bored and you want to move on to the next goal. We're goal seeking creatures, human beings. We are goal seeking creatures. And I think it's so normal for us to continue wanting more out of life. And I think it's great. I love that. Yeah. I, I think it's awesome. And I also want to talk about a, a, in several of your meditations, you always talk about how you can never do anything out of a place of like fear or hate. You always talk about how you want to like change and grow and evolve from a place of love. So could you kind of just elaborate on how a lot of people maybe get that confused or they're Yeah. Often- well, the fundamental fact is that you can't hate yourself to a life that you love. Mm. You know, you can't expect to have this I'll be happy when mentality and be happy when, <laughs> you know, it doesn't work that way. You can't think that, you know, a, an external goal being met is going to bring you any type of joy. The truth is that, you know, it, it's it's who you become in the process. If you are an unhappy person and you make a million dollars, you're still going to be an unhappy person because it's just your self-image. It's who you are and you're going to want the next big thing. And it doesn't work that way. It, when you want to create the life of your dreams, you need to become the kind of person that already has it. And that is the the basis of all the work that I teach. It's all about self-image psychology. It's all about if you want to create the life of your dreams, you need to align with your future self, self-image. And that's all we talk about you know, and, and all the work relates back to that. Everything is self-image based. Your habits, you know, as much as I love the book Atomic Habits, I disagree that it, that habits are the, the biggest way to change your life. Beyond that, the top layer of the food chain here is your self-image. Mm. Because when you change your self-image, it's like a trickle down effect. Your habits will organically change because you now see yourself as, as this person. A really easy example here is like, if you want to start running every morning, the hard way to do it is to start running every morning. <laughs> the easy way to do it is to start identifying as a runner. Mm-hmm. Because when you tell yourself, oh, I'm a runner. All right. It's just what I do. I get my running shoes and I'm a runner. It's just what I do. I feel weird if I'm not running every day. Right. So it's all about the self-image because if everything else will change naturally, effortlessly once you tweak the self-image. And that's what the I'm writing a book right now. And that's the whole the whole topic of the book. I'm so excited for the book. And that was my next question. You just segued beautifully because I say a lot on here, you guys listening, higher self. Mimi says future self, similar-esque. It's the same thing. Same thing. But explain to us how connecting with your, how does it feel for you to connect with your future self? What does that process look like? And I just want to preface this by saying that you can be your future self now. Right. Like future self does not mean that it's something that's unattainable. It's in the future. I say future self as just like my higher self. Like it's just, it's a synonymous term. So Mm -hmm. I can use either Mm -hmm. and I am being that person now. Um, So, so the question was like, what was that? Yeah. Like (laughs) how do you connect with her? How do you, how do you integrate her into your daily life? You have to get very familiar with her. Mm -hmm. Like I said at the retreat, there is two steps to true change. Mm -hmm. Clarity is step number one. Mm -hmm. What do you want? Like, what kind of life do you want? What kind of person has that life? What kind of person do you need to become to create that life of your dreams? And then the second step is becoming. And that, you know, those, it's a very simple two-step process I just explained, but it's incredibly intricate. And there's so much that comes down to the becoming part. There are so many tools you can use to become, but fundamentally in this moment, if you are acting like the version of you that you want to be, if you continue and hold on to that energy, it's inevitable that it's going to happen soon. And I don't believe in the law of attraction stuff that states that, you know, if you just think about what you want and tell yourself the affirmations, it'll just pop out of nowhere. There is aligned action and and work that needs to be involved. But I'm telling you that when you change your self-image, that action becomes organic, natural, intuitive, and something that you actually move towards doing because of that initial shift of the self-image. So the running example is one of them. Another one is, you know, I am a successful person. Mm -hmm. I am a hard worker. I get things done. I was just interviewing before I came here, uh, Jacqueline Johnson, who was the founder of Create and Cultivate. She's uh, worth tens and tens of millions. She just had an exit for 22 million and she's on to her next project. She's a total girl boss. Hell yeah. And 
it was so interesting. The entire interview, I was listening to her say these beliefs about herself just in conversation. Like, oh, oh yeah, I'm the kind of person that I'm just a really hard worker and I, I'm really good at, you know, uh, waking up early and just getting to work. And like, I love, you know, fulfilling my day with with all these things that I need to do and oh I'm the kind of person that oh I'm I'm strong and I'm honest and I get what I want like Mm -hmm. it was just this like self-image that she had it's obvious that she's a multi-millionaire because of this core self-image if she came in and she said yeah, like sometimes I have this tendency to procrastinate a lot. I'm kind of lazy <laughs> and, you know, I'm, I'm trying to work on that though. And, you know, like you, she wouldn't be where she is today. She doesn't have that self-image. So to create the life that you want, what is the self-image that you need to embody? And how do you do that? You get clarity and there are so many ways to get clarity. And I think writing is a big one, putting pen to paper and just starting somewhere. You don't need to create this like whole big plan that you need to follow and because so many of us, the plans change. You know, right. my my goals change month to month. Same. So just starting and moving in that direction and then becoming the kind of person, there's so much to go into there. You know, there's so many tools, superhuman being one of them, but that's really the basis of all of this work. And superhuman for me is a place where I, when I know I hit play, I am shifting into this activation of my future self, my higher self, the best version of me. And the more that you spend time in that energy, like even if it's, I think you were the one that introduced the term like method acting, like literally what would they. Acting as if. Yeah. Acting as if. Like what, what does she wear? Like today she's not going to work from her scruffy clothes. She's going to put on a cute outfit and a lip and a hoop earring and she's going to take on the day. You know what I mean? Like. Or she she wears a cashmere set. I, my future self, she tells me. (laughs) cashmere (laughs) I have like matching cashmere like lounge sets and like she's cozy but she's put together and like in this luxurious fabric and yes no I totally agree yes you got to tap in with her and be like what is she doing how does she how does she feel what is she eating for breakfast like what is this version of me doing and do that now that's the fastest way to attract this life how does she feel about herself how does she speak to herself oh exactly how does she speak to herself yeah i mean i'm obsessed with my future self i'm obsessed with myself i am i am i love myself i move with love i pet my body like i am so intentional you're comfortable with yourself yes you you love everything about you love everything i don't ever need to change i am perfect as i am yes no you are (laughs) you know that's how that's that's how she communicates with me and and the more that sorry I just had a crazy idea for a podcast episode tell me what if we did a podcast episode like on yours or mine okay. like it doesn't matter talking as our future <gasps> selves the entire time Mimi please we I aren't love allowed this. to break we can't break, break character. character yeah okay we have to do it okay done. it's done we're gonna do it you guys okay wait let's do it on my because we, we just did this one let's do it on my when I'm having you on soon anyway okay so let's perfect do that. we'll do it we'll we'll come on and we will show up I'll be in my most luxe yeah Mimi's gonna be the cashmere set <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> It'll be fabulous, but it is it is just such a good practice and 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 it, it integrates that piece of play to like, ooh, what does she want? Does she want a fruit smoothie? Yes. Like and and having how this does call, she like how does she, she sit? sit? Yeah, like, like what does she do her hair? And it really does integrate things that you can do in the moment to shift your energy quickly. And, that's, and it makes it attainable. Yes. Like it's like, so oh attainable. wait, like I can just be her now. It's like it, so many of us have these goals and we just feel like they're so far away and like you don't even understand what it's like to have them because it's just such a distant goal. But being in it now and like how would it feel? Everyone do this. Like right now, think about a huge goal you have, whether it's being worth $10 million, having that relationship of your dreams, you know, having that career of your dreams, having that health that you desire, whatever it is. Imagine in your body for a moment, what energetic frequency would that feel like in your body and around your body? Like how would it physically, just energetically, it's not hard to do, this is super easy. How would it feel to just turn that dial and raise that vibration to align with the feeling that you already have that thing you want? Like right now, let's get into $10 million energy. Think about $10 million in your bank account, not even net worth, just liquid in your bank account. Seeing the number, close your eyes, see the number. It's like 10 million, 100,000, 32, you know, 45 (laughs) and 10 cents, whatever it is. And you're just feeling that money and it's just, it's what you have. It's, It's yours and it's just that comfort and love and gratitude and security that you have 
And it's just this abundance frequency that you're now tuned into. And then just for a moment, dial it up. So right now you're immersed in this energy and then just like, like a dial, just kind of tweak it up so that the vibration is now a little bit more expanded and higher and maybe your body's feeling a little different. And it's just this energetic frequency you're now living in. And before you come back to your old energy, just try to hold on to it. And the longer you can hold on to this frequency, the longer you hold on to it, the, the more you this is going to become and the more aligned you're going to become with this abundance and the more familiar you are with it the closer it gets and you're going to start seeing opportunities and you're going to start you know creating this wealth with more effortless action if you align yourself with this frequency so just do that as a fun little tester and you know you can use superhuman you can also just do it yourself if you're in line at the grocery store why don't you just do this instead of looking at your phone and scrolling on TikTok to kill time? Just like tune into your frequency. It's a really fun thing. And if you create that habit and you align your self-image with someone that does this for fun, your whole life is going to change. It's literally going to change. And you're going to be like, wow, this happened so fast. Did you feel that energy yes, in the room? Yes, I felt it. I like closed I had my like eyes. Tingles. I had tingles. And I can feel it when you said turn on the dial. I'm like, yes, I can feel it. Like, I feel like giddy. Like, I want to giggle like, wee. I don't know. I yeah. just feel so light, expansive in my chest. I could feel it. And that is truly the code, I kind of like to call it, with quantum jumping or quantum manifesting. It's all the same thing. It's just getting in the feeling. How would it feel to have this right now? If you can play with the feeling physically and the body and the emotion, you literally are like a magnet, like, zoom. <laughs> Like attracts like. Yes. If your energy is is vibrating at that frequency, it's going to attract what you desire. And the weird thing is when it actually starts happening and when you start creating these, you know, opportunities and these moments in your life because of your energy, it doesn't even feel weird. For example, the billionaire example we were talking about, whenever these people reach out to me, I'm like, oh, yeah. Like, I don't even, like, I, I'm like, okay, cool. You know, like... <laughs> Just last week, I had this guy from the biggest uh, VC fund in the world DM me saying, hey, like, can we get on a Zoom next week? I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want VC funding, but like, sure. <laughs> and this this is like my friend who raised a lot of money last year. He, it was like really hard for him to even find a contact at that fund. Like crazy things like that. I'm, it's just like, okay, it's just what I do. Yeah. And it's just who I am. And like, you know, I'll give it a shot, but I don't know. It just, it becomes this, it's weird because I'm not even trying to be cool and casual about it. It's just like, I'm so used to that feeling and these opportunities and these experiences that it just like happens. Yeah. And I, I don't even celebrate myself and my wins enough because I'm so used to these things happening. It's really wild. It, it, that was one thing in her reading that I was, I was- You were like, celebrate yourself more. I'm like, but it's just what happens to You're me. like, it's just what I do. I know. And I was like, I, I said I would be her fun coach. Yeah, I to, I'll, I, that. I'll, I'll celebrate for her. Okay. <laughs> I'll like text her and be like, you're doing great. Um, I was going through a um, little sneak peek. I was helping her do some uh, test kind of control with the new app oh that's coming. Yes. And so, but anyways. It's coming soon. I've been her biggest cheerleader on just trying it out and it's going to be amazing. But it's a big superhuman update. So the app itself right now is fine. And it's the good. app right now is awesome. Okay. You guys, it's awesome. <laughs> it, but the new app, the, like the new big update that's going to be free for all users yeah. is coming out very soon. And it's really, it's just so cool. It's it's so cool. Um, but I wanted, there was another thing I want to talk about, getting in the feeling and that energy, but also bringing in this activation piece, which for me has always been clothing. And recently you just did a podcast episode yeah. with Nadia about clothing and you brought on a stylist. And I think that we really manifest through clothing yes. and there's this like energetic styling piece. So tell hey. us about that. Oh my gosh. Nadia is like the sweetest woman in the world. Like she's just, I love her. She's my, okay, this is going to sound so snooty. <laughs> no, it's okay. So Nadia <laughs> is my French Italian uh, stylist. She lives in Geneva, Switzerland. Love. Mm -hmm. She's, I think, probably in her forties, and she is like so chic, and she has this French accent. And she, I didn't want a typical stylist. Like, you know, no offense to anyone listening if you have or you are a stylist, but I didn't want like the traditional LA stylist that, like, you know, 
where like it's just all trendy stuff and a lot of the time and I, I really wanted to find someone that had this like elegant like you know depth about them and I found Nadia through um, I think Instagram honestly oh yeah one of my followers suggested her because I posted about it and uh, she her the different thing about her is that she is a color uh, like an imaging consultant so mm-hmm. she does your colors mm-hmm. and she also uh, does this whole program with you for your body shape and your and your personal style and your colors so it's like a trifecta program and it's it, it's expensive it's like thousands of dollars but it was the best investment I made because now I know what to buy and what not to buy that makes me feel my best because honestly my colors like I can't I can't wear certain colors because it drowns my my natural like beauty out like mm-hmm. my natural green eyes that I want to enhance and right. you know so uh, so it's really changed the game for me and I've learned so many tips for you know my being a petite lady as well so listen to the episode if you haven't it's, yes, it's a great one it's really good and she talks a lot about how our subconscious mm-hmm. mind like really we're unconsciously dressing as like maybe a past version of self or oh, she kind of talks yeah. about the fashion inter- psychology yeah. isn't it that she, what she called it fashion she like psychology. studied she like studied fashion psychology or like style psychology or something yes and basically we can get into this feeling or this frequency yeah. and align ourselves with our future self immediately by yeah. the clothes that we put on our body and she even told you a couple of things it's like when people wear the color black it really means this or, yeah what i can't yeah, remember what black kind of, was okay um i think it's like when you're wearing black you don't want to be noticed i think that was it um oh god i forget i recorded it a while ago and we, we just released it but uh no guys go check it out i think you'll you, really benefit yeah, from that yeah. episode because there is definitely something to integrate the colors the yeah colors yeah. and you can kind of i talk about like programming my outfits i'm like okay when i wear pink i am like my fun self yeah. you know like when i put this on like orange is like a confidence color yes. like it's I'm feeling bold like i want to be seen because i realized there were times in my life where i would yeah. dress in a way where like i didn't want to be seen yeah and that's such an easy way for you to check in and be like what am i putting on my body right now like what am i saying to the world totally Totally, and I'm, I'm wearing a white button up top for people that are just listening right now. And uh, honestly, like I was wearing that dark gray t-shirt before and I didn't feel like, you know, like the person I wanted to be in that moment. Yeah. So I just put the, the white button up on and I just, I feel like I would be speaking differently if I had the other top on. Yes, because it, it's, it really is so important how you like dress and feel mm-hmm. and carry and everything when you show up to an interview or show up to a space, it's like, I always want to be a representation of that future self. Yeah. And I consult with her every single day. Also, you know, AG University is founded as a school connecting with our intuition, which for you is future self, intuition. If you have any tools or takeaways for ways that you really feel like you're connecting with her or with your intuition when you're Mm -hmm. feeling like, I need some clarity. So first is the belief that my real authentic self is my future self Mm -hmm. and the person that you know sometimes i don't want to be is actually not the real me so that belief in itself helps me stay connected because i am her Mm -hmm. you know that's Mm -hmm. just who i am i keep coming back home to her when i become more of her Mm. so practices and and rituals to become more her is truly to stick to what reminds me of who i want to be so when i wake up in the morning trying really hard not to check my phone right when I wake up so I don't get sucked in because the old Mimi would do that. She would over, you know, overuse technology and numb herself out. So, you know, the Mimi that I truly am doesn't enjoy doing that. She likes to feel alive and she likes to feel, you know, so present and in love with life. So I just, the more I make decisions like she would make, like I would truly make, the more I feel connected to her. So it really comes down to that. And um, yeah, acting as if and reminding myself in everyday moments of who I want to be, conditioning myself through listening to Superhuman or, you know, songs even that make me feel like her and just associating like audible things, I think as well. Um, Like, you know, listening to the the same music that she would or the podcasts or, you know, I, I don't listen to things that are unaligned. Like I don't listen to true crime podcasts. Like, no, I don't listen to like, I just, I just would never do. I also, my old self wouldn't do that. But like, I just, I'm not interested in those things that are a bit more negative. Like I just want to be light. And 
um, yeah, eating foods that make me feel like my best self, which is organic and natural to me. Mm -hmm. um, not organic foods, but like it's or I'm organically wanting to eat these healthy foods because it's just who I am. It's my self image and I've created that. So I, I want, I have the craving for healthy foods instead of, you know, maybe something that isn't a healthy option. I see, you know, burgers or McDonald's and I'm just like, that's not even food for me. Like I don't, it's not like I'm wanting it and I can't have it. It's just like, mm, nope, don't, don't see that as consumption for me. Um, but yeah, just it comes with practice. I'm going to be honest. I've been doing this a lot over the past seven, eight years and my, I've changed a lot in a very short amount of time over the past two years because I really started to hone in on what's been working. At the beginning of this journey, it was a lot more of like trying everything, throwing spaghetti at the wall, seeing what sticks when it comes to personal growth. But honestly, the past two years, even one year, it's just like these changes and transformations are happening faster and faster and faster. It's because I'm just like dialing into what's working. I'm not doing the things that don't. So it's gotten really easy for me. Like I'm her all the freaking time. Not all the time, but most of the time. Most of the time. <laughs> most of the time. Um, and it goes in phases too. Like this week I've been really aligned. And then I'm also getting really in tune with my hormonal cycle. Mm -hmm. When I'm in my like late luteal phase, a menstrual phase, I want to be a bit less of this like perky, motivated, energetic girl. So maybe I, I don't, I, I'm my future self in that, in, in her luteal phase. You know, I'm not, you know, potentially as... Um, action oriented and success seeking. Maybe I'm a little bit more grounding and I have many versions of my future self, of my true self. And uh, I think it's just, it really varies from time of month to so many different things. But at the beginning, it's harder and you need to be consistent with rewiring your brain and tools like superhuman help a lot with that. Um, and then now it's just maintenance because I'm, I'm living it. You're just doing it. You're just doing it. I know. And that's why, that's why I will literally, you guys, every single guest that I've had on my show this week, I have told them, I'm like, Mimi's coming on the show. Do you guys use her? Do you guys use superhuman? Do you guys know about her? Have you listened to her podcast? Because every single one of my guests has been the perfect person. It's just like busy and we're all building something and we're all trying to be our best self and we're all trying to be a great partner and we're all trying to do all of the things. And I was laughing. Peyton came on and she's like, sometimes I'll wake up in the morning and be like, you know, having a hard time being like, you're so abundant, yeah. <laughs> you know, like it's so nice to have a tool in her sweet little voice, you guys, in my, <laughs> in my phone to be like, she just gives me a pep talk and gets me in this energy. And when, since she's in the energy, it's like, okay, boom, I'm in the energy too. Like the, and the music we use yeah. too puts you into that. Tell energy. them how that process works with the music. It's really cool. Our audio engineers are amazing and I approve all of the music before it goes out as well. And honestly, I, my whole, like my requirements, like my audio team will tell you, like my, my requirements with the music is that every single song used needs to have this feeling of like moving towards something, achievement, like, you know, like we're moving. It's there. You're not in a lull. You're like, it's building. You're, yeah. Like you're moving towards this transformation, better life, who you want to be. It's feel good, high vibration. We also layer the, the meditations with certain frequencies that benefit um, you know, different goals that you have and, you know, whether that's for clarity or manifestation or self-love or whatever it is, like we layer these meditations with frequencies as well for this like subconscious reprogramming. And each meditation is truly just like a work of art, how much time and effort goes into it, you know, and we also release like three to five a week. Yeah. Like we have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds on the app. Like I think we're close to 500 now. And um, there's truly something for every moment. And we have everything from like my recent favorite. If I'm driving. Oh, I, what's your favorite? Oh, well, I have so many for different moods. But sometimes when I'm driving alone, I love to put on like a jazz chillin' meditation. Um, so we have like all types of music on the app. And I love jazz. It's kind of aligned with my future self. So it's just like jazz and like affirmations and reminding me of who I want to be. And it's just like such a beautiful thing to listen to and then you know when I'm walking the walking meditations are some of my favorite too they're more of like an intense um you know creation because I need to write them while I'm on the treadmill like I need to move while I write them and they're the only meditation category that I really write beforehand mm -hmm. um and then I'm very 
uh, specific when it comes to when the, the music and the words hit and I have like timestamps to the second on my phone when I'm recording it. So it's, a, it's more of a production um, and those are very powerful. And then honestly, the seated ones are great too. And I kind of listen to them whenever and the getting ready in the morning ones. I love like the wealth and abundance getting ready in the morning ones. And, um, you know, there are so many just incredible ones on the app that just change your state immediately. Even if like I've been on my phone or computer too much, the reduce brain fog and feel feel clear one, just mm-hmm. like, oh my God. Also, we have like a pep talk to stop mindless scrolling on social media. I have used that so many times and it immediately gets you out of that zone because so many of us are addicted to our phones. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, like there's literally something for everyone and like there's just so much content. So much content. And I, I, I'm going to share a couple of my favorites because I love your pep talks. They're short, they're sweet, they're what I need. Like in the middle of the day when it's like three o'clock or four and I'm like, Ooh, I'm really starting to run out of juice. I'm starting yeah. to get distracted. I'm starting to go. Like I always listen to like a quick little pep talk. She's like a five minutes or less little category of meditations. Like there is something for everything and they can very quickly change your state. I'm like, okay, yep, yeah, Mimi, uh-huh. I'm with it. I'm I can right. be stern Mimi sometimes. She can be stern Mimi, but I like it. Get I out of like your head. <laughs> yeah. Come back to you. <laughs> yeah. She always does say that. Get out of your head. Come back. And I immediately do every single time. I also love the confident energy while doing your makeup. I've been doing the jazzy one while getting ready in the morning. Like there's nothing more fun and romanticizing my life with your meditations and just like hearing your voice talk me through my day, how amazing my day is, connecting with my future self. I'm getting dressed. It just feels so like, I don't know, romantic and special. Like I'm like, what a beautiful life I get to live. I get to create this day you can have a beautiful life. Like life doesn't have to be this dull thing. Like life's supposed to be amazing and beautiful and like just full of so much. And so many of us succumb to the addictions of our phone, of social media, of numbing, overeating, over drinking, over doing technology. And then we wake up one morning and it's like we're 70 years old and we look back on our lives and it's like, what the hell have I done? I've just been numb this entire time. That's my biggest fear. And I think living every single day in a state of truly romanticizing and being present and being the person you want to be now is the answer to life. It really is. It's the only way to not regret your life. I agree 100%. And I also feel like I have been able to accomplish that and achieve that through superhuman without actually, you know, living in the luxe house or having all the things that I need or all the money that I need or the outfits or times when I was like living alone in the pandemic and like my dem little jail cell essentially because I was like in solitary confinement for a year. Like I didn't have to go out and do anything or buy anything or do anything crazy. crazy. I just changed the energy inside of me. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I felt like I was so magnetic on social media. Like I was gaining more followers. Like I was gaining abundance and all these different fun ways, you know, like it doesn't always have to be that like, I need this house. It's the, I'll be happy when I just started living a beautiful life right now. I just started doing it. And then it just started unfolding and I was just kind of on this journey. But I think that it can feel foreign to people at first when you're first starting. It's this practice of always inviting her and my future self, my higher self, what is she doing? And having, yeah, just having superhuman tools to play, practice, rewire the brain every single day. And then you'll wake up one day and be like, this is my normal. This is my baseline. Yeah. This is what I do. It's freaking incredible. And it's so worth it. It's kind of hard at first, but then it just gets so easy. And also a lot of people will write me saying they would love to start journaling and get a journal practice. And you do a lot of journaling meditations. I feel like you Writing do- meditations. Yeah, yeah, they're just like guided. Like they give you prompts with nice music in the background. I think music is such a powerful part of life. And we have so much amazing music on the app to complement the words. And I just think it puts you in a state immediately. And just like how in movies, imagine watching a movie without any background music. Like it tells you how to feel. Mm-hmm. So if you're listening to music, that is telling you to feel a certain way, you're going to feel that way. So it's just by every angle, you know, you're just being conditioned to, to change your state. Truly. Yeah. And it's also too, when we're in these like 
try I mean I'll be like on a walk like visualizing and I'm like and I'm having I'm experiencing a whole cinematic experience in my brain of visualization like I'm I am in my own movie in this moment doing a walking meditation and I always tell people like our brain does not know the difference between this visualization or our brain thinks it's like already happening yeah. you know what I mean it really doesn't know the difference it's like yeah. oh this is the reality and then once you become it it is your life neuroplasticity it, it's it's a literal fact that when you visualize your brain changes and just knowing that this neural plast i always struggle with that word. neuroplasticity, neuroplasticity yeah neuroplasticity is how our brain operates is so empowering because it realizes like i am not stuck i'm not stuck in these thought loops i am not stuck in these negative thoughts i am not going to allow myself to be consumed by this because i can change my brain that's my brain is designed to be this malleable little piece yeah. That alone for me was like so freeing. Like, And it instructs your body. I was listening to something the other day and it was talking about how, you know, they had three control groups. One group uh, lifted weights. The other group lifted weights in their mind, <laughs> like visualize themselves lifting weights. And the third control group didn't do anything. And over weeks, you know, the group that actually lifted weights obviously got X percentage stronger but then close second were the people that visualized themselves lifting <laughs> weights. They got stronger than the control group. So it just shows that your body is really doesn't know the difference between imagined reality and real reality. And imagine taking that to your advantage and designing your life through that. That's insane. Yeah. I, I, I to totally believe that. Though. Oh, it's a, it, it's not like you do believe it or not. It's like this is a fact, a scientific fact. Fact. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it makes sense that our body, it's like that mind body connection. Yeah. It's when I'm exercising that I try to be incredibly present when like building, like I, I try to inc incorporate the mind. I, w I went through a phase where I wouldn't even like really listen to music or anything. I would just kind of like talk to my body, but I'm mm -hmm. like, no, you guys, Mimi has, um, <laughs> she has weightlifting meditations, workout meditations, yes. <laughs> but it is, it's so important to keep that kind of mind body piece because there is there is, everything is very connected and we don't realize that just having a little intentionality, a little routine in the visualization piece and you're, you're going to wake up one day and be like, oh my gosh, thanks Anna Grace and Mimi. My life is different. <laughs> I'm living a different life, particularly thank you Mimi for a superhuman. Oh my gosh. Well, I hope so. It's, it's honestly my goal in my life is just to give people as many people as possible this, this tool because it transforms everything and, and transformation doesn't have to be hard. Like it, it's, it's not easy, but it can be effortless. And, uh, you know, doing this work and feeling that deep love and gratitude when I get all these testimonials, we have like a customer love channel in our Slack for work. And every day there are dozens of screenshots from our social team, from our customer support team, Aww. people just sharing their stories, people that I've never heard of just saying, hey, like you don't know me, but this app changed my whole life and it changed me because of X, Y, and Z. I'm now in this place when I used to be here and you know, I'm, I'm earning more money than I ever have. I'm in this relationship that I never would have ever dreamt of because it was just so out of reach for me. I'm you know, in this place where I really love myself. I've healed old eating disorders, old negative patterns. I've, you know, like people have had crazy testimonials. Certain ones that like, you know, obviously, like just are insane that someone even told me once that she like had like a cancer thing that like she which I don't know I don't want to promote that because like I'm not gonna make any promises but you know people tell She's me some healed crazy some crazy stuff yeah. that I'm like holy crap even if it's just you believing that this work like you know believing in yourself and believing that that you are in control of your reality like that's all I could ask for and you know there's just some crazy stories that I've that I've read and people you know writing me handwritten notes about you know mm -hmm. how like they were gonna commit suicide and then they found my work and then you know Aww. just really crazy stuff so I'm just so grateful I'm just here to serve and I'm just I can't wait to see what happens with the business I can't wait too because it's it's relatively new I mean it's such how much, a, it's such a baby how yeah. much you've accomplished the, since I've met you is like mind-blowing I'm like okay in her reading billionaires <laughs> are on the way check, check I mean it's just it's wild and, and Mimi's like yep like in in three years you guys we're gonna come back here and we're gonna be like <laughs> Mimi's gonna have like a robot in the room with us like I don't even know like where superhuman is going next but it's gonna be something incredible um, so I'm so excited. Also, you guys, Mimi has been very generous. She is giving all of you guys a code. So code AG, you get six weeks 
free. You can also literally change your life in six weeks. Oh, yeah, easily. So you can 21 change- days really to, to change parts of your self-image for the first time. But yeah, six weeks, you guys could change so, so much. Use the code AG. You can only redeem this code on the website, not on the app. But if you go to superhuman.app, so instead of .com, it's just .app, superhuman.app. And then if you sign up there at checkout at the top, it's going to give you an option to- Top right corner. Yeah, top right corner. It's going to give you an option to put in a code. Just put AG (laughs) and uh, you're going to get six weeks free. Um, and honestly, just take advantage of that six weeks free. And I promise you, if you do, you're going to feel a massive shift. And Superhuman is, it's a luxury app. It's, you know, it's, it's not the cheapest app in the world. It's, it's $30 a month or $190 a year. Which you get six months free when you do the yearly option. Um, but honestly, you know, the, the value is demonstrated in the results that you get and, so many people feel comfortable, you know, spending 30 bucks on Uber Eats for a night. Take yourself seriously. Take your transformation seriously and commit to yourself because if you aren't willing to invest in your future, you're not going to get there. And of course, you can try, um, you know, doing these types of practices without Superhuman as well. I totally urge you to do that. But this six weeks free trial is honestly such a great deal. And just take advantage of it. Yeah, you can truly change your life in <clears throat> six weeks. And I, every time you say you're like, it's an investment, I, I, I wouldn't even bat my eye at the, no. the piece that you've it's, it's given It's not me. even expensive as some people think it is because other apps are cheaper, yeah. but we're not other apps. Like this is, no. there's a reason that this is a totally different experience. It's because you get different results. Yeah. Well, and, and truly like I wanted you to come on so I could add to your testimony bank of like, you were the catalyst for me reconnecting with my body, learning to love my body, learning to trust my body. And now that's a huge part of my teaching here. So it's like your ripple effect is massive. And so, yeah, I just, I want to reiterate, I'm like my testimony to you guys, like you, I, I would, I would give her so much more money. <laughs> I would give you all my money. Cause the peace of mind that you've given me is the greatest gift. And that's the gift that I want to keep passing on to all of my listeners. So you guys, I'm just so appreciative that she gave us a code to share and Mimi just Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Is there anything else you want to tell people where to find you? What's going on? Honestly, Instagram and I'm revamping my podcast. I don't know when this is going to be out, but in sometime in April, my podcast I've had for five years. We have like 400 episodes almost, but we're doing a huge revamp and I have a new producer and I've invested a lot into this revamp. So definitely go check it out there. It's just called Mimi and my Instagram is at Mimi Bouchard, my last name. And, uh, Yeah, that's it. (laughs) And everything regarding the code and the links and everything will be in the show notes. And on behalf of AG University, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I was just going to say, the retreat that AG came to, the Ultimate Life Retreat, she came to it in Arizona in September. I also had my videographer film the entire thing. It was like a six-day luxury retreat. It was amazing. Yeah, like the tickets were super luxury and high-end because we were at this insane spa and the program was just really um really in depth and uh you know i've released the online course version of it yes. for a fraction of the price so if you guys want to go check out the uh the online course that i created from that retreat it's also on my website linked through my instagram so if you're interested in that too yes she shared with us her special sauce her unique frequency <laughs> code that she creates to connect with her future self and it is very interesting it's nothing i've ever experienced before so it is a unique product that you guys are going to have <laughs> access to, which is awesome. So you guys got to go check it out. We have payment plans and everything. So. Oh yeah. Payment yeah. plans available. So yeah. Mimi's making this very accessible to it's everyone. It's very, yeah. The payment plans are very reasonable. Yes. 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 Yeah. Um, okay. But you guys check out our podcast, but please do download six weeks for you. you your life will be different in six weeks. If oh, you if it, you commit to it. Do it every single day. It's your not life even will hard be to do. Just no. Listen to it in the background of your life. Yeah. You will change, I promise you. And we also offer a money back guarantee. Like if you forget to cancel and you hate it, which you won't because you won't hate it. (laughs) If you commit to it, you will not want to cancel. And uh, yeah, money back guarantee. So it's totally risk-free. Just go check it out. Six weeks, completely free. And just commit to it at least three times a week at the beginning. Just commit to it and you're going to feel such a shift.
I listen to you like three times a day now. It's just, it's a non-negotiable. I like doing my makeup. Imagine you did it three times a day for six weeks. Y'all would be levitating. So (laughs) let's go. (laughs) Okay, Mimi, I love you so much. Thank you for your time and your energy and all of your information. You're just the best. Thank you, AG. Bye guys. Bye. As always, I just wanted to say thank you so much for tuning in. If you feel so called or if it feels aligned, I would love for you to leave me a review here. I always love reading your beautiful thoughts and messages. And also you can find me at Anna Grace Newell on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. And I will link all of my courses, AG University course curriculum in the show notes, along with if you're interested in booking an Akashic Records reading with me, my scheduling link goes out in my newsletter. It goes out once a month and it's completely free. I would love to have you there. As always, I'm a proud professor and you get an A plus for making it all the way through the end. Love you.